Okay, good morning. Today we're going to be discussing um, a poem from Annie Bradstreet called To My Dear and Loving Husband. Okay, let's look at the dates real quick of Annie Bradstreet. She was born in 1612. And she died in 1672. How old she was? 60 years. Right here, 60 years. This poem is going to have how many stanzas? Three. Three stanzas. Stanza number one has how many lines? Four, two, five, and three? Three. So first stanza, four. Second stanza, five. It has four stanzas. Three stanzas. The first has how many? Four. Four lines. Five. Five lines. And the third is? And three lines. Yes. Okay. That's a total of lines that we're gonna have. We know that it's a very short poem. You're gonna have that poem in what? How many, how many pages? One, okay? However, from that small poem that you said, that's a piece of cake. There's a lot of things that you could take out of it, okay? Very important, you could look at this poem in two ways. Number one, you could look at it in a literal way. You read it and you say, well, that's the way it is. The literal way, number one. And you can look at it from the sarcastic way. Number one, literal, the way it is. And number two, in a sarcastic way. And later on, you're gonna know why it could be in a sarcastic way. The number one. Little way. And the second one, in a sarcastic, sarcastic way. <clears throat> to my dear and loving husband. Oh, let's start. To my dear and loving husband. If ever two were one, then surely we. If there's an opportunity for two people to be just a single person, if men and women, how many people we have there? We got two. Men and women, two gentlemen. If they could be one, if the husband and the wife can be one, that will be done. That will be Annie Bradstreet, that is the one that is narrating, and her husband. Right there, those two. Continue on. If ever man were loved by wife, then be. Okay, if there's an opportunity that a man could be loved by a woman, that will be you. So who Annie Bradstreet is talking to? Her husband, who's narrating the poem? The Annie Bradstreet, the, the wife is Annie, okay? Go ahead. If ever wife was happy in a man. She's super happy with her husband. How do you know that she's happy? In those three lines, all of the things she's saying is, if we two could be one, that will be us. If a man could be loved by a woman, that will be you. If there's a woman that could be greatly loved, right there, that's me. So she's very happy. What? Compare with me, you woman, if you can. Compare with me, you woman, if you can. She's right now challenging other women in her community. It's like, are you as happy as I am? I don't think so. I am so happy. And I don't think any of you women around the village or around the town can be as happy as I am. Go ahead. I prize thy love more than whole minds of gold. She's comparing her husband's love with what? Gold. With gold. It is more than gold. It's not. More than gold. Go ahead. For all the riches that the east doth hold. 
if we have the USA in the west side of the world of the globe, what do we have in the east? Where did it came from? Russia. It came from England. England, in the earliest part, it came to the United States. So she's saying, my love is bigger than all of the riches from the east side of the world. All of the riches in the whole Europe cannot be compared to your love. Go ahead. My love is such that rivers cannot quench. Okay. I know that your book gives you a different like, definition, but I'm going to give you another definition for quench. Extinguish, okay? Quench, extinguish. So right there she's telling, my love is so big that rivers cannot extinguish that love. What do you have in a river? Water. That's just saying that all the water in the world cannot extinguish my love for you. Go ahead. No all but love from me. Give recompense. There's no way to recompense the love that you're giving me. It's too much. There's no way to recompense it. Go ahead. Thy love is such I cannot re way repay. There's, there's no way to say your love is there's no way that I can repay your love. She, she, this woman like loves her husband or not? Yeah. She looks like she does, right? Go ahead. The heavens towards the miracle, I pray. You love me so much and you're a great husband. You know what? You deserve the heaven. When you die, you deserve to go to heaven for being such a great husband. Go ahead. Then while we live in love, let's so preserve. As long as we are alive, let's, lead, let's let our love continue and be as strong as it is. And last line. That when we live no more, we may live ever. What is she saying when not live no more? That when they die, their love holds. When they are dead, when they die, that love is going to persevere. So you guys are um, in love and all that, you can use this poem for your love for my dad. You're good. Okay. During the 1600s, who had the power? Men. Men. What do you think? If, if we look at on a literal way, what is happening in the poem? She's, she's like saying thank you. Like, well, thank you for being a great husband. Everything is just great. However, what happens if we look at it in a sarcastic way? She's like saying like... You suck as a husband. Yeah. Think beyond. <laughs> she's, she, she's like um like saying in other words like... Um, what you should feel? Okay, I mean, this question is for the boys. Uh, if your girlfriend right now comes <laughs> and, and tells you you're a great man, Oh my, I love you so much. Amen. You are, you, you should have the heavens. Amen. Oh Amen. my God, is your... She's joking about it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, probably, hey probably, probably your girlfriend is setting you up. Uh, or, or, setting or, you up. I'm just gonna wake up. That's a dream. So probably she's setting you up. Remember something. Annie Braxton, right here, Annie Braxton is going to set up men and say, well, we're we going to let them know that, that they have the power. So that husband can do whatever she wants. What happens if you as a woman have your husband happy? They buy you jewelry. They'll buy you jewelry. They'll do whatever you want. They don't get you the world if you want, if you have them happy. So that's a way for a woman to have control. You have the guy happy, and he'll do whatever you want for him. From, from he will do anything for you as a woman. It's just like that. He'll buy your flowers. He'll buy your great things for Valentine's Day. 
you. He'll be basically at your mercy as a, as a girl, as a woman, as a female. Big time. So, that's why you're looking at this one from two different perspectives. Number one, the little way, the way it is. And number two, the sarcastic way. We always have to look at things from two different perspectives. She's like not manipulating. She's manipulating, very yeah. good. It could be, Holly's manipulating. So basically, um, that's it. For a short poem to my dear and loving husband. Thank you.